is up, everybody? Look what we have here. Finally, I am so behind on the monster box. Finally, I get my monster boxes. I got three of these bad boys. I, I mistakenly on one of my earlier videos, um, I think it was last week, I said that I pre-ordered these from Tops and they just showed up. It was Fanatics. I pre-ordered these from Fanatics when on Series 2 release day, and I just now got them, which is insane. I actually watched a couple videos on these because I was dying to open mine, and it took so long that I'm like, all right, I'll go find a couple videos. So I watched a few videos, and these seem to be great. So I'm super excited to do a profit challenge with one of these monster boxes. Um, the allure of these, obviously, is the foil boards. And it seems like this year you get more foil boards than you did last year, which is awesome. So um, if you've never seen the Profit Challenge videos, what we do is we start up at the top of the screen with a ticker for the value of this box, which is going to be $50. So we're going to go minus 50 to start, and we will see if we can get that number to green. Last week we did a Profit Challenge week, a whole week of them. That was super fun. Um, we did not profit unfortunately but that's how it goes there's a ton of packs in here holy smokes just get these out of here real quick there's one more in here yep all right well, we will get right to it i do not know these values off the top of my head obviously i'm doing it in real time so these values will pop up on the screen as we pull a card and uh, the base cards and stuff i will not count we will do a miscellaneous total for base cards and base rookies, base inserts, all that good stuff at the very end of the video. We're starting with a vintage stock. Look at this. <laughs> that, what a start here. Vintage stock. If this is a big name, that would just be awesome. Behind it is Nuove Marte 89 and Junior Caminero Stars MLB. The vintage stock is wah, 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 the Blue Jays team card. That is not the uh, vintage stock we were looking for, but these are super cool cards. 93 of 99 on the Blue Jays team card. All right, well, that's definitely gonna have some value. Anything under 100, I mean, that's super short printed, so. Cool start anyways. All right. There's Imanaga rookie card. Mike Trout covering the field insert. It's a nice one. And Matt Olson, Stars MLB. All right, looks like maybe the first foil board in here. We have first up Marcel Ozuna. That's going to be a rainbow foil. And our first foil board, Nolan Ryan. That's cool. The uh, the foil board cards bring the, the floor value of these boxes way up because these are, you know, they're coveted cards. People like to buy these. So it gives you, it gets you some immediate value, Evan Carter. I, I really enjoy what Topps is doing with exclusive parallels and exclusive boxes. Like the hanger boxes have... You know, the yellows, the yellow foils, the yellow crackles. The Fanatics boxes have the aquas. The blasters have the holiday parallels. And then these foil boards in here. I really like that they do that. I think it's kind of cool. It makes me want to buy each, you know, format just to, to test it out. We got an Aaron Judge, City to City. It's pretty cool. And Sunny Gray is going to be the next foil board. So back-to-back -back foil boards. Christian Yelich. Got a chrome in here. Mason Wynn, chrome. It's nice. Jackie Robinson, all star insert. And Bo Bichette. We have Around the Horn, Jose Altuve, base insert. Garrett Cole, Stars of MLB. 
Another foil board coming up here. And a retail blue. Yeah, these are nice. These boxes are great. Parallels flying out of here. Retail blue. Kyle Farmer. And Jordan Alvarez foil board. Nice. Sunny Gray, Stars Moby. Another foil board in here. We have Juan Soto. Very nice foil board there. With the Yankees gear with the shades on. Juan Soto. And Randy Rosarina, Stars and OLB. So four foil boards already. Home run challenge coming up in here. And that's going to be Jordan. Another Jordan card there. Spencer Strider, all-star insert. And Strider, Stars and OLB. All right, we got some numbered numbered card in here. Second one, we got the vintage stock, and now this one here. It looks like a, there's a Pete Crow Armstrong, base rookie. 13 of 9.99, Wade Miley. <laughs> Wade Miley, 13 of 9.99. And then there's a nice one, Ellie De La Cruz, Significant Statistics. Sharp looking rookie card of Ellie there. The human highlight reel. That's what Ellie is. Unbelievable athlete. All right, another foil board coming up. It is Ronald Acuna Jr. Sick. The best part about the foil boards is the set is small enough where you're going to pull these awesome names like this. That's what I like about it a lot. So Ronald Acuna, you know, you, you just, you feel like when you buy Shohei, you feel like when you buy one of these boxes, in my opinion, you're getting like your bang for your buck. Like at least you're getting guys like foot, parallels of guys, you know, Nolan Ryan, Jordan Alvarez, Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna, like you're making me feel like I'm getting something. Even if they're not worth a ton, who cares? Like you're getting some cool names. Another foil board coming up. They loaded these up this year. This one's going to be Noelve Marte, so our first rookie foil board. And Zach Geloff will sleeve up Noelve since he's a good old rook. Very nice. We have two, three, four packs left. How many foil boards? One, two, three, four, five, six foil boards? Jeez. All right, we got one turned around. Probably, I think I saw a rainbow foil for this one. Pittsburgh Pirates team card. Rainbow foil. And Hammer and Hank Aaron, 89 behind it. Louis Arise. Three packs to go. Marte rookie card base. Covering the field, Paul Goldschmidt and Joey Votto, Stars of MLB. Uh, all right, so there's a foil board in here, so maybe we'll save this one for last. We'll see what's in this pack. I mean, for all I know, they both might have them. They both do have them, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so we're going to end up, so we have two here. We're going to end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight foil boards. Is that really what's in every box? That is crazy. As you can see, I didn't finish watching the videos that I started. I just wanted to take a look at them to see what the foil boards looked like. But eight is crazy. Jordan Walker is our next foil board there. And Sal Freelich stars will be in the last one. We got a chrome first. The chrome is Altuve. 
Stars will be his Yamamoto on the back. And the last one is David Ortiz, Big Poppy. So, yeah, I mean, what I'm going to say, I think these are really, really cool for what, like, you're going to pay the price of two blasters, <clears throat> two regular blasters for this. I would take this all day long. It's not even close. I would rather have uh, these cards than whatever I'm going to get from two blasters, most likely. So, the floor is way higher on these monsters. So that was really cool. For miscellaneous at the end. Uh, da, 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 one, two, three. Eight, nine. Let's do $12 at the end. Added in for miscellaneous. 12 bucks. We had some dollar inserts in there that I didn't really count. So $12. How'd you do at the tables last night? I'm about even. All right, that was a lot of fun. Um, the I can't wait to do. I'm planning on doing these, uh, this monster against Fanatics exclusive blasters. I think that'll be a really fun battle format because those are we're getting guaranteed parallels coming out of every which way uh, during that battle. So I feel like that'll be really cool. So if you want to continue to follow along with all the profit challenge videos and all the other rips on the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.